Okay, so Aiden wrote in today and asked us for some help with a word problem that he had, and it fits right in with the topic of our lesson here, Applications of Linear Systems. So I'm going to use it as background. The question he sent in, sent in says that basic rental is $50 a day. I'm assuming we're talking about bike rental and 20 cents a mile. And Roadrunner rental is $20 a day and 50 cents a mile. And the question is, how many miles must be driven, uh, must be motorcycle rental, must be driven for basic rental to be a better deal than Roadrunner? Can you help? Okay, so what we want to do is look at um, the cost over time or over miles, over distance, I suppose, for basic rental versus Roadrunner rental. And what we're looking for really is where their prices are the same. Because anywhere past where their prices are the same, basic rental will start getting cheaper, any miles more than that. And before that happens, Roadrunner rental will be cheaper because the basic rental, the price per mile goes up more slowly. And Roadrunner rental, the price per mile goes up more quickly. But Roadrunner rental is more expensive or cheaper at the start. So what we'll do is write out an equation for each of these and then compare the equations. So we what we're going to do is say that B is the price for the basic rental, which would be 0.2 times the number of miles, we'll call that M, plus $50. And then Roadrunner rental can be R, and it would be 0.5 times the number of miles plus $20. So then all we need to do is compare these two equations to each other. So let's write out those two and set them equal to each other. So we have 0.2m plus 50 equals 0.5m plus 20. Because that'll tell us when this, when this equation is true, m is the number that sets both of these things equal, or the number of miles where the prices are the same. So now we just need to solve for m. So we'll subtract 2m from this, 0.2m from this side, and that'll cancel and subtract so 0.2m from the other side. And then we'll have 50 equals 0.3m plus 20. Then we subtract 20 from each side. And we get 30 equals 0.3m. Then we can multiply both sides by 10. And we'll get 300 equals m, or 3m, I'm sorry. And then we can divide both sides by 3. And we get 100 equals m. So that tells us that m is 100 where these two uh, prices are the same. So if you travel 100 miles, the prices are equal. If you travel less than 100 miles, then Roadrunner is a better deal. So if we say less than 100 miles, then Roadrunner is a better deal. And greater than 100 miles, the basic rental is a better deal. And we can see this graphically. I drew this up on a graph real quick here. We can see this graphically right here. If we assume that the orange line is the Roadrunner price, then here the Roadrunner price obviously starts out cheaper but goes up more quickly right here. And the basic rental starts out more expensive but goes up less, less quickly. So we can see the two prices intersect right here at 100. And at that point, the one that starts out the cheaper becomes the more expensive and vice versa. So there you go, Aiden. I hope that helps.